Hi, this is Eric.、Uh, what do we have today, Eric? Well, last week we talked about the expansion board of the Well Terminal, and we talked about the speaker demo. Actually, it was it, it was a quite powerful speaker. And today we are going to talk about the microphone, as as we know that the speaker is famous for his、uh, mic areas. And today we are going to introduce it on the Well Terminal. So let's see what it can do. You can just snap here. Snap here. See, it, it recognizes your, it recognizes the sound around it.、Uh, let's see in a more detailed way.、Uh, we use a sonic generator. It can generate、uh, sounds of different, of certain frequencies. So let's see how it can do with this kind of sound. Okay, actually.、Uh, Uh, I think it, it might be the, the volume of this kind of snap is too low,、okay. so it cannot recognize correct,、uh, precisely. But as we can see、uh, with this sound generator, it can precisely recognize the frequency of the sound. This is quite useful,、mm -hmm. especially when you need to detect a certain frequency of sound. Like,、uh, for example, if you are in a factory and when the motors or servos are working. Uh, a function function normally, they will generate a sound of certain frequency. You can use it to detect whether it has some there's、uh, or some issues、uh, with these machines. Then it will generate a sound with different frequency. Huh, cool. So, what kind of industry does it usually apply to? I think a lot of industries.、Uh, for example, we uh, like um, for example, if you are in a factory which. Uh, controls servos.、Mm -hmm. um, you know, when the servo、uh, it spins, it will have will generate a sound, and you can help detect whether the servo is working、uh, functional well. Cool. What's next? Well, the next one is、uh, this is just an idea. We are going to make a expansion board for Sudo shell.、Uh, we already made one, but that one、uh, we think the, we just、uh, you know to. Uh, pull some pins out to make them grow connectors, and some users want more because we noticed that a lot of people use shell with an OLED screen. That's why we added here, and、oh. we also add a SWD debug connector because you know there are some people with more professional purpose with this shell、uh, development board, so they want a debug connector. So we add this one here. Also, an important feature is. This one, we add a reset button here. See? Ah,、oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Okay.、Uh, the reason why we add it is because, you know,、um, like about a few months ago, the firmware of our of this development board,、uh, there, there's a little bug there. There was a little bug. We already、mm -hmm. fixed this, but、uh, by then,、uh, usually、uh, the users have to short the reset pins twice to、mm -hmm. get into below the mode. And that was quite painful. You know how to do it?、Uh, see, this is the reset pin, and,、right. can, and the users should short this thing twice to get into the loader. You can、mm -hmm. try it by yourself. It's actually quite difficult to just like make it precise. Yeah. So that、right. that's why a lot of people are a lot of users. Are complaining about this one, this thing, and we have already get a lot of feedbacks about feedback about this. So we add a reset button here.、Oh. Then, although we fix the bug, but if you want to get into the loader, you can just click the reset button twice. I have a question though. Like,、okay. what is this? What is the purpose of this one? The this the, okay, the, the, the acrylic. Yeah. yeah. Okay.、Uh, this is just to help hold the. The extension board. There's no、oh. specific purpose of it, and there's also a SD card slot here, so people can store, can can you know store their data of their sensors into the thing, or you、mm -hmm. can you know store some pictures in it. Okay, this is our extension board of this new shop. But、uh, we it's still an idea. We haven't released it. So if you have any ideas about this development board, this extension board, you can just leave a comment below. Or you think, or if you think anything is, you know, not necessary, you can also just comment. Okay, this is everything we have today. But we,、uh, I heard we are planning to join an event 
uh, hold by United Nations, right? Right. So the event is called Global Goals Week, which is organized by United Nations. It is the event that's dedicated to raise the awareness of the UN SDG. So what is UN SDG? It's called United Nations De Sustainable Development Plan, Development Goals. Okay. And so do you know, have you heard about it? Uh, not really. Not really. So I'll, I'm just going to make a quick introduction. So UN SDG contains the initiatives such as no poverty, no zero hunger, like talking about healthcare, education, economy, environment, our earth, like such as that, that philanthropical yeah, uh, topics. I, I got you. So this event is wanted to make the, the com communication and uh, have the advocates and raise the awareness of the UNSDG issues. Um, so in SEED, we have many projects that's related to the UNSDG goals, which what we wanted to make the world a more sustainable way and we want to uh, help the environment a little bit better. So like um, the sense cap we made and the other the prote, the kind of project that we have was like dedicated to this kind of cause. Okay, uh, I think uh, Chai Hua Mix Space has offered the courses of SDG, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So every certificate students who attend Chai Hua's classes will have a class that one of our um, instructor will give a lesson about what is UNSDG and encourage our certificate students to pursue their projects that's related to the cause and want to raise their awareness of the, the SDG issues. All right, let's take out the Global Ghost Week official website together. Here are the week of events that they held online. Here is their commitment, what they're doing. They're dedicated to sustainable development goals, which is SDG right here. And here are the organizations that they have collaborated with. And the other site you might, you might want to know of is called Act for SDGs. So they are saying that 2020, which we have the pandemic, is a turning point for people and the planet. So that's why they're organizing this event, the Global Week, to act for SDGs. Here are a video you can check it out. And yeah, that, this is their statement for the events. You can also see the 2019 highlights right here. Also, if you want to uh, engage with them online, you can also tag them with the hashtag to turn it around, turn it around. How do we take action? So you can communicate with them, advocate and activate by organizing an event. Here are the engagements online. Then how can we contribute, I mean, to join this project? So if you want to share your project, you can use the hashtag turn it around and act for SDGs with the, in the description box to engage with the community. And if you, you can also tag Seed Studio, we will help you to repost it to raise the awareness of your project. We, are, we hope this can be influential and give a bigger impact to the community and to raise the awareness of the SDG issues. Okay, that would be cool. That's all for today. Thank you. See you next week. See you next week.